Okay, continue on. Um, another app, another application and accounting firm is going to need is LACERT. And in my particular situation, I can only say that, well, the latest version of LACERT that we have is, is 07. We've, you know, for a while we were running two systems in parallel, which is probably unheard of, and we <laughs> decided, you know, just to ease the, ease the burden of maintenance, we've we phased off the cert and we've stuck with pro system. So what I'm going to do is go into the cert now, and this this cert will not just install using uh, Wine or uh, Crossover Office. And, I mean, I'll explain all that stuff later. But if you're more familiar you're familiar with how Wine works, you'll know right off the bat what I'm talking about. Now um, what I'm going to do is. Um, if I were to set my master options to the Y drive, which I've already set as my path for individuals, I say OK. I don't want to update options for all users. Oh, we don't have any. Yeah, row seven, we didn't have any. Let's see. We, I did, we did have exempt organizations. Why am I doing this? Well, what I'm going to do is show you you can get to these files in the network and you can work. I've actually done one return in, in my life uh, to <laughs> in Linux using uh, Lacert. Now, don't tell me it's too late and we have nothing there. Hmm. Now, why did that not change? I mean, there may be other problems here, but I guess I'm going to make a point. And that is, is that wouldn't it be nice to be able to have a second option besides the option that we're, we're stuck with now? And we could if if some of the software vendors in our industry got you know, just put a little more effort. I, you know, the search showing up on my desktop and running isn't the result of any effort by Intuit. It's all a result of the people that make wine and somewhat of a result of my persistence. Now I'll get, let me get back to what uh, happened here. And again, I really gotta wonder whether, um, would you like to update the volume? I'm really wondering. Should be showing up, but maybe we were out of Lacert by the time this happened. I'm not sure. It seems like it seems like it should show up. <sighs> okay. Um. At least you know I've used this before, and I know it's, it it'll work, and you can print if I ever get that far <laughs> here. But um. Anyway, I think I've already made this point. I mean, it's you know, case where hasn't put any effort behind it. It would into it. Microsoft hasn't put any behind any effort behind uh, any of this stuff either. Getting it to run now. Let's see our appointments. There's this program called Organizer e Organizer Easy Clip, and if you run Organizer from Easy Clip, then you can um, access uh, the calendar that is on the network. And make changes if necessary. I'm going to go user setup, organizer preferences. I believe that is, and I should be able to get to the Y drive. Love of God. There we go. And there's there there it is. And not status organizer. And this is able to um, hook up to a Palm device. Now um, exit it, and I'm going to go back and easy clip. And there we go. Jack's out of the jet. <laughs> My boss Jack is on vacation, and I could print this out if I wanted to. Because I have a printer set up already, and I could basically, if I'm in Linux, I'm not going to have to worry that if the phone rings, I won't be able to um, go in and uh, change the calendar if someone calls on the phone, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That works, <clears throat> and I have the, the drive set up. Now, how? Okay, what else do I have here? I got Office. Office will end up working the same way. I'll just show you that 
actually runs. Da, da, da. And this has been working since. And this is this is a copy of Office 2000. I do have Service Pack 3 in there. I don't have 4 in there. Um, uh, Code Weavers comes with compatibility to be able to install Office 2007, although it's not uh, at, at the level of being uh, supported uh, as a gold application. And, you know, to find out more about that, you know, check at the Code Weaver site.